Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Well after yesterday's funny old snail video, just a bit of fun that was, I've had a few questions come in about how I got the background so black. Basically I used the quick selection tool in Photoshop so I thought I'd load one of the snail images up and quickly show you how I use the selection tool in Photoshop. Let's have a look. Right, so first off, I'm going to make a duplicate layer. So Command J, let's open the layers up. It gives me a duplicate layer there, just in case. So we've got our layer. So into the Quick Selection tool, and then I'm going to, I've got it in the Plus brush. I've got a 35 pixel brush width, 100% hardness, 1% spacing. I've got Auto Enhance and Sample All Layers ticked. Right, so first thing I'm going to do is we've got to select all the inside of the snail best we can with the selection tool. So it's a pretty good tool this. So I'm just going to run the brush around the inside, not right to the edge, just like that. And it's a really good auto select tool. It does cut corners, so let's cut that corner, but we'll come back to that in a minute. So we're just going to, it does struggle a bit with dark areas like this shell here. So we'll just let off, let that catch up. Now I'm going to take the brush right inside the selection again and come down his antennae or whatever it is and it's done that look because it can't differentiate. So all I'm going to do now is choose the minus brush. You can also hit the alt key as a shortcut. So just holding the mouse down run it round there again, round there. Should pick it up roughly, there we are, that's about right. Just release that, let it load up, and same again, around the old eye there, and a little bit down there. That'll do for now, we'll come back to that in a bit. So, back to the plus brush, and then we're gonna take it down his other eye here. See it's took a shortcut again, to the end there. Let it do its thing. And because it's took this shortcut here, hold down the Alt key, left click, and just take it back to there. That's it, let go. It automatically goes back to the plus brush. So round there, round his other antenna, and it's done the same again. Look, let's just carry on going just to save a bit of speed. Let's just stop there. Right, so it's done that. Let's just take it up to there. The reason it's messing about like this is because the colours, the background colours, and his, his antennae eyes, or whatever they're called, the eye stalks, are such a similar colour in tone that it can't differentiate. But it's easy enough just to use the Alt key, which takes it a shortcut straight to the minus brush, hold down and then brush it back away. So we'll just brush all that away again. It should auto select around that antenna there, yeah, it has done. Well, this laptop doesn't like doing a screen record, so we'll leave it like that. Let's just go in a bit. Come on, that's it. And we'll just brush it back up there. Brush that back up there a little bit, that's it. And then just with holding the alt key down, just gonna that's it, lovely. Let's just go in a bit here again. Just click once on there. And then run down his eye sort stalk again or whatever you call it, that's it. A little bit of touching up there. Back on the Alt key for the minus brush. Just get rid of that a little bit, that's it, lovely. So I'm not gonna to be too serious on this because I can run down it with a rubber stamp after, so I'll show you that. Take it up there. Smash in. Let's just go out one, zoom out. Back into the selected area and then back up his shell. Back up his shell to form that, and then hit the Alt key again, and just bring it down here, and that'll reduce that selection. And that's it. That's basically it. I'm not going to get too. Let's just take it out here with a. Let's take it out there a little bit. That's it. And then just, uh, just hope we haven't got a really 
Sticky edge. Right, let's go out like that. That's good enough for me. So now we're going to hit Shift Command I, which inverts the image. Now we're going to choose the brush tool, or you can hit B on your keypad. Make sure you've got your black area selected. We're on layer one. Let's just give it a test there. Lovely. So now all we do is just paint around the snail. Paint over your backdrop that you want to go black. That's basically it. So we've done that. Super job. Hit deselect. Spot on. Now the last thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to save save that quickly. Just as save it on my desktop, just as snail PSD. Just get that saved. Photoshop document that'll do. Okay, so that's that now saved. So what I'm going to do now is just go to the rubber stamp, where are we, where's it gone, there it is, the erase tool. Now let's just have a look, I want to be on real soft, I want to be on about 5%, 6%, something like that. And then I'm just going to run round the outside of the edges, just to soften that edge off. reduce that a bit, Let's zoom in. So I'm just going to run down there, which will just bring back a bit of the, make it quite so soft, bit of reflection in the perspex there still, so we'll just run down his antennae. Let's just make that bush a bit smaller with the square brackets. Around there. Up there a bit. You get the idea anyway. See how it's a bit jagged along here, so we'll just zoom in a bit. Take that push a bit smaller. Just one along there. Just brings back the natural edge then. Quite happy with that, really. There we are. Come out again, do the same here. Just round his eye. Down that side, just to bring the natural edges back. And then just round his shell again. See that edge coming back a bit. Brought a bit too much in there, look, but we can worry about that in a minute. A bit there. A bit of reflection there, I think, in the perspex. Just run it down there a bit, that's better. Just bringing that soft edge back a bit. That's it. How are we looking? That's not too bad. Just got to tidy this bit up here a bit. So what I'm going to do now, that's basically my backdrop done anyway. So I'm, I'm happy with that. So I'm going to go into layers now, flatten the image, so that's flattened it, and then just going to do a bit of touch up with the old clone tool, so into this area here, let's choose our about 50% probably hardness, something like that. So let's take a clone from there, we know it's jet black, and then Make that bush a bit smaller. I'm just going to make that bush a bit. Let's just Control Alt Z, get rid of that selection. I'm just going to go down to 15%. Hold the Alt key down on the stamp tool and then just take it around there a bit. 
same just there, look. Just to finish that off, I'm just going to go to my burn tool, reduce that brush down, and then just burn that area in a bit. No, not like that, it's too hard. Let's go to a hard, that's 100% hard, hard look. So let's take it down to 10%, just burn that in a little bit. just to take that edge off. That'll do us, let's have a look at that. Just the job, that. What else I did yesterday as well when I was editing this image? Spot healing tool, which is a great tool. So spot healing brush. And then for little blimps, I think this was little scratches on the perspex. So hover it over and then just give it one click. Make it a bit bigger, and then there's, you can see a scratch there. That's on the perspex. The spot healing tool is fantastic. It's basically the quick way to make your backgrounds black. Jobs are good, and so I might just do a little bit of uh, colours and tones and bits and bobs. So into camera raw filter. Let's see if we can just, I'm just going to go through all the, give it a little bit of exposure perhaps, a bit more contrast just to bring them textures out on his skin a bit. Have a look at the highlights. Yeah, I think that's okay. This area is just beginning to burn out here, so I don't want to burn that out. So let's just take them highlights down a little bit. That's lovely. Shadows. Shadows are probably okay as they are. Whites aren't too good. Just take the whites down a little bit, perhaps. Blacks will be okay. We can take the clarity up a little bit. Give your skin a bit more texture. I'm not sure if he's a little bit yellow, so I might just give it a little bit of blue in there, just a little bit. Okay to that. That's looking okay. Let's just check the levels. Super, that'll do. Might just touch the bottom of this shell up. Let's just have a look. It's where there was a double reflection in my perspex. So I might just do a bit of cheating with the old clone tool. What are we at there? We're quite softness. So let's just make the brush a little bit bigger. We know that this is jet black around here. So I'm just gonna, just gonna gently go around there with the clone tool. Just taking that double reflection off. Put my phone there, so we just find a new spot again. Just take it around there, smash it just a little bump there. Let's have a look at that. That's better. Jobs are good. Un. That's basically it guys. I hope that's helped you out a bit. So I know there are other ways of doing it, but with this snail and his, ant his, eye, his eye antennas, whatever they're called, being so dark to, in comparison to the background, I, I found that the quick selection tool was the best way of doing it. So when you've got a, a different subject and there's a really clear difference between the tones, that quick selection tool, you can zim it around your subject in like a, you know, 10, 20 seconds. It finds the edges and jobs are good. But a little bit more tricky with this one, you've got to keep going back and using the minus brush. But uh, hopefully that's given you an idea of uh, how the quick selection tool works anyway in darkening out backgrounds. Leave any comments below. It's always great to hear from you guys and I'll reply as soon as I can. Hope you're all keeping safe and well. Thanks for watching guys. Catch up soon.